blessings, coffee one, cheese drafts, and less latte. Every man, every every soul has its own like direction and focus, and for me, it seems like this is this is what seems to work. Mobilization. Mobilization. Just to to mobilize and get it all together and get out there. Just keep it keep it rolling. Keep it moving. That's it. That's that's definitely it. Just keep a steady direction and, and just don't stop. I'm just working. I'm just doing things. I I stuff I've done already I've forgotten. I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I started drawing on a wall. was an artist. She pursued art, but didn't pursue it as a living. My father was a mechanic, so he was like mechanically inclined, and I pretty much picked up both of those traits. I remember in kindergarten playing with the blocks and building, I love that stuff, just building things structurally. I was good at like absorbing what I saw and learned how to filter it and figure out what would work best for me. In West Los Angeles where I was raised at, there was a yard called the Motor Yard, right around the corner. And there was this huge mural going up, and um, maybe a few weeks later, I'm watching like the MTV raps and that fucking mural is on the TV screen. And I remember that same day we went back over there and saw it was still up and everything. That definitely was like a triggering system in me that just told me like, this kind of makes sense. I got into the aerosol art and figured out how to use these cans and these tools. My shit was toy in the beginning, guys. I was learning. After 93, I got in this crew called TPS. They schooled me in a sense of like things to be doing, places to go to, but a lot of stuff I just kind of picked up on my own. I'll be the one, the quiet one, sitting there watching you painting and won't bother you. And then I'll come back later and see when you're done and see what you've done with it and really figure out how you did that shit. Not ask you, but figure it out for myself. That's the kind of kid I was. I was doing characters, that was it. After I got that down, and I was always doing letters at the time, but they were never really up to par. These thick, bubbly letters and stuff, and I tried to do that. I tried, I thought that's, that's what graph is, I gotta do that. I tried it and it never fucking meshed with me. It didn't make sense. Cause I kinda had, to, I sat on this whole traditional graph thing and then I actually stepped back and stretched out and loosened up. Basically my letters just evolved structurally and became these rough sketches. You'll see this transformation of me doing that to me actually ended up like breaking it apart and splitting shit up. And then it became these whole flows. It starts from a point and then it breaks out and it flies. That's what I wanna. That came out of graph, me making these pieces stick out. And that's that whole evolution, that's where I went. quality over quantity with me. Like I'll knock out like a few characters a year, but those ones I do are the ones that are gonna like stick. They're not like some like fly-by-night shit. 
I'm not there to fucking bullshit. I can't be doing something that's gonna be like a waste of time. And usually that stuff ends up being just the flick anyway. I, I kind of pretty much grew up in this whole game. Like I would just hit 30 and it's like, what am I gonna be doing here? Where, where am I going with this? True, like graffiti art's my formula and foundation, but you know, that's not all what I'm about. I'm, it's really difficult for me. I need to not be pigeonholed into one format of art. My environment creates my style. The pieces I have in shows aren't so much just aerosol face. I kind of leave that for the walls. I leave that for my illegals that I do on my own, that I don't talk about is do it, to do it, to satisfy that inner, inner beast in me. Rock a burner here and there, that's for me. And then what I might do for a gallery, personally, will be what I want to show in a gallery. My art and myself matured. The music I listened to when I was a kid is not the same it is now. Everything has changed and it's just kind of built upon itself and moved forward. A careful painter, a meticulous craftsman. Draftsmen are the cats that actually sketch out the building before they put foundation in. They sketch it out and get all the math together so that you can build it. Um, so I kind of had, to, I kept that mentality. It, it's all an experiment. It's not a, a, a clothing line based on the logo. It's not a brand. You're not trying to get the brand out. I'm just trying to get different images out. So it pretty much evolved out of, at 2001 after this show I had called Mobilization and I did a sample shirt of a CJ30, like it was the, um, pretty much the skeleton of a Jeep. I did gold on brown, bled it off the collar, and um, made a whole run of them. So um, one of these cats went to the show, picked it up, ended up buying all the shirts as distributor, and he hooked me up with my first distributor in Japan, and that's kind of how everything kind of helped go. I've done a lot more probably pillai painting in Japan than I've done out here. But each time I go out, there's like three or four stores I'm gonna go to. You know, take the JR up to like Hiroshima or Osaka or um, Odawara and just knock a mural out for these cats. And it's great because it's this one on one thing's going on. It's not just here's this guy with this product, he's this mystical, you don't know what he's about. I'm actually meeting these cats, they're seeing me, we're having dinner, they're tripping out that I know how to use chopsticks and shit and they're loving life. You know, it's cool. We're 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 communicating and that's what I want. I don't wanna be this cat that's stuck in my room. I want them to understand me, understand what it's about, and they usually do after we've communicated and built. I wish you luck. Prepare for a struggle. If you want to, if you want to get into art for a living and pursue it, definitely kind of figure out what you're, what you specifically want to focus on, and get on that as early as you can. Only good things can happen if you, if you know, if you, if you focus and put all your energy into something and all your heart. It, you, you can't fail at that. That's, I, that's all I got time for to do, is just be creative, you know, it's for as long as I'm here on this earth, for whatever reason I'm here for, you know, God's gift, whatever. You sound like a shark. Huh? You know how sharks just keep moving and shit? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I guess, huh? Yeah. Shit, I guess I am.